we're going plus size shopping at Disney Springs here at the World of Disney, which is newly renovated. I'm hoping this new renovation will make it easier for us to find plus sizes for women, men, and in unisex styles. I'm also hoping they have some dressing rooms in here, and if they do, I'm going to try some things on for you. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney and Florida has to offer plus size people. Today we're going to try to shop for plus sizes in men's, women's, and unisex styles. I'm hoping the new renovations here at World of Disney will make it even easier to locate plus size clothing. And I really hope they have dressing rooms. If they do, I'm gonna try some things on for you. I'm actually in line to get into World of Disney. I got here super early this morning because they're having a special annual pass holders event where pass holders get to go into World of Disney from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m exclusively so there's no other people shopping in here but the annual pass holders i'm kind of hoping the crowds will be a little thinner so i'll be able to maneuver and manipulate and run around the store a little quicker and find the things that we're looking for but while we wait let me go ahead and share some things with you about my size that may help you see if the clothes i try on if there's a dressing room inside will work for you i'm five feet four inches tall i weigh 350 pounds and i wear u.s women's sizes 30, 32, 4X, or 5X. But here at Disney, the clothing tends to be a little more generously sized, and I'm usually able to wear a women's 3X, or a 3XL, or an extra, extra, extra large in men's or unisex sizes. So if they've got a dressing room in there, I'm gonna pick some things out for you, and I will try them on. If you're looking to come to the world of Disney, the closest parking garage is the Lime Garage, and once you exit down the escalators and you come out into Disney Springs, you'll head to the right and you'll see the world of Disney. It's a huge store. If you are a pass holder and you come to one of these special Super Saturday pass holder events, make sure to have your annual pass with you or your magic band on you because they will scan that to make sure that you are an annual pass holder. Awesome news, I just checked with a cast member and they do have fitting rooms at World of Disney. I will show you those dressing rooms once we get inside. So that's good news. I know that they're in there, so that means I can get started shopping as soon as I walk in the door. It's 9 a.m. sharp, the doors are open, we're headed in. Oh wow, how nice! Oh, what a great green! <laughs> well, awesome! Oh, I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> the entire staff is here to greet us. I feel like a celebrity. This is amazing. Let's start shopping. Wow, the store is amazing. I feel like you can really see where everything's located. Here's a whole section of just hats and ears, and the signage is so great, it makes it easy to find things. We have an entire section of all the different types of spirit jerseys. These spirit jerseys look like they're unisex. I think guys would even enjoy wearing these. Oh, that's amazing. Sparkle sequin spirit jersey. Of course, you have your rose gold and your millennial pink spirit jerseys. The spirit jerseys come in sizes up to an extra, extra large, and they're very generously sized. I am able to fit in one. However, I don't like the fit of it, and I don't think it looks good on me. I'm not gonna try another one on for you, but I'll link to a video right here where I tried one on so you can see what they look like on me. It is lightweight and long sleeve. It says original Mouseketeer. It comes in sizes extra small through extra, extra large. The price for this adorable shirt is $39.99. This is fantastic. This entire section is just t-shirts. There are some for kids and there's some for adults. There's women's, men's, and unisex in this area. I think this is gonna be where I wanna shop. This is really cool. They have the designs right up here where it's easy for you to see. They have them up on the wall as well where you can see all the different styles below and all the sizes are on the shelves beneath. The sizing tags are right here to make it easy for you to find what you're looking for. The plus sizes are down at the bottom. All of these really cute designs are $24.99 and they come in sizes up to a 2XL. All of these styles are $24.99 or 
you can buy two of them and pay $20 for each of the two for a total of $40 for two shirts. All of these styles are men's or unisex and they come in sizes up to a 2XL. I really love this design, but unfortunately it only comes in a size 2XL, so I won't be able to get it. My other ride is a monorail, that's awesome. Oh, and look at this enchanted Tiki Room shirt. How cute is that? Here are some more of those unisex styles. These are the graphics that you'll find. Again, $24.99. Or if you buy two of them, you will pay $20 for each. Almost every single one of these comes up to a size 2XL. I did find one shirt in a 3XL, and it's this Hey Hey shirt. I will try it on for you. Right across the way there, you can see the adult section for t-shirts. You cross over into the kids area, and just over here, tucked away, are the fitting rooms. Let's go try some stuff on. Okay, so the dressing rooms appear to be unisex. They do have an accessible dressing room right here. Oh, that's a mirror, <laughs> so there's only one. <laughs> and if you look closely, you can see whether it's occupied or vacant. We're gonna go right on in. Okay, <laughs> there's the, the mirror on the back of the door. Okay. You jiggle the lock a little there to get it to lock. Let's take a look in here. You have some hooks for all your stuff. And even in the regular size dressing room, they have a really sturdy bench. Now, before I get started trying things on, let me tell you about the shirt I'm wearing now. This is a 3XL shirt. I got this at the Emporium in Magic Kingdom for my birthday back in March 2018. I think this shirt is still available online if it is i will leave a link to the shop disney location in the description down below before we get started trying things on let me share some information about myself that will help you decide if the things i'm trying on will work for you i am five feet four inches tall i weigh 350 pounds and i usually wear u.s women's sizes 30 32 4 or 5X. Here at Disney, the clothing seems to be a little more generously sized, and I'm generally able to wear a women's 3X, and sometimes I can even manage an extra, extra, extra large or a 3XL in men's or unisex sizing. Let's go ahead and get started trying these things on and see if I see anything I love. Remember, this is one of the only 3XL shirts I could find in a men's or unisex size. Let's take a look at the fit. Now it does cling through here a little bit because it's, it's made for a man, so it's straight up and down. It's a little snug through the belly, but the sleeves are long enough, although they're a little snug. Let's take a look at the profile. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's definitely clinging to me. It's not horrible, and I actually kind of like this shirt with the pants because the yellow in Hey Hey's feet match the pants. If I were to buy this shirt, I would definitely use my special stretching technique that I use to customize men's shirt to fit a woman's body a little better. I'll actually put a link right up here in the corner so you can go take a look at that how to stretch a t-shirt video. But I'm not gonna get this one because I think there may be some other things that will fit me better. This super stylish Mickey graphic t-shirt is $34.99 and it comes in sizes extra small through 3X. I'm gonna try this one on for you. I don't know. I think I might have found the shirt that I really, really like. The fit on this shirt is the best so far. It is a women's 3X, although I did see a few men buying the shirt for themselves, so it has kind of a unisex look to it. Let's have a look. I love this classic all over Mickey Mouse Club graphic. I used to watch the Mickey Mouse Club when I was a kid, both the old school one with Annette and Bobby, <laughs> and the newer one in the 80s. And okay, yeah, I watched the one of the 90s too. My only concern about this top is it kind of reminds me of a scrubs print. Um, and I work in a professional office environment and I'd like to get a shirt that I can also wear to work. But I'm thinking if I wear a cardigan with this or a blazer, I can make this look a little more um, zhuzhed up, a little more chic, a little more professional. Oh guys, I really, really, really love this sparkly shirt. Check that out. It comes in sizes extra small through 3X and it is $39.99. I'm gonna try this on for you. This top was one of my favorites that I spotted today and it is a woman's 3X and usually they fit me great. 
but this does not fit great. It's really tight through here. It's very short. I don't feel like I have a lot of movement or give in it. If you can see, the sleeves are super tight, but weirdly enough, the shoulders are really long. The seam on the shoulders way down here. And the graphic is, actually the graphic feels like it's kind of small for a plus size top. I almost feel like they took the same graphic from the extra small and they put it on the 3X. When you make a shirt bigger, you need to make the graphic bigger so it looks more in proportion. So this looks all stretched out, out of proportion. Not a good fit. This adorable Minnie Mouse tunic tank is $39.99 and comes in sizes up to 2XL. We have another cute Minnie Mouse tunic. This one looks like it goes all the way down past your hips and it comes in sizes extra small through 2X and it's $39.99. This super cute ruffle sleeve Minnie Mouse graphic print t-shirt is $34.99. It comes in sizes extra small through extra, extra, extra large. Now that extra, extra, extra large looks to be a Missy's sized extra, extra, extra large, which means it's probably gonna be a little short on me, but I'll try it on for you. Okay, when we were out in the store and I picked out this shirt, I said that it was an extra, extra, extra large, which would mean that it was Missy sizing. And what that is, is um, when you see a label of an extra, extra, extra large on a woman's shirt or a 3XL on a woman's shirt, it means that they've taken a Missy size shirt or an average size shirt and they just made it bigger all over. And the fit's usually off on shirts like that. So that's why I generally stick with women's shirts that are labeled 3X. Well, guess what? Inside the shirt, this says 3X. So it does fit, but I have some concerns. Let's have a look at it. The fit through the torso is great. The fit through the hips is great. The sleeves are roomy. I love the ruffles. I love the graphic design. The only thing I feel a little weird about is that it's a little shorter than what I usually like to wear. I usually like my tops a couple of inches longer, but you know what? I'm starting to feel more confident and comfortable with my body, so I would really consider this top but I still wanna look and see what else there is. But let's take a look at this profile first. Yeah, the top has a really cute profile. It is very comfortable and it is very fashionable, so it's definitely on my maybe list. This really cute gray short sleeve Mickey Mouse top is $34.99 and comes in sizes extra small through extra, extra large. This classic Mickey Mouse graphic t-shirt comes in sizes small through extra, extra, extra large. This is a unisex or men's shirt. I will try this on for you. Okay, here is another shirt I was able to find that's like a unisex extra, extra, extra large. It could also be a men's, I'm not sure, but it works for me. It's not as clingy through the abdomen. It is a little bit tight through the hips, but that's something a little stretching technique will help with. It's got a nice wide open neckline, which can be stretched a little bit to make it a little more feminine. And the sleeves do not bind. There's actually quite a lot of give in the sleeves. Let's look at the profile. So it still binds a little, but it gives good coverage. It actually feels a little more comfortable than the other unisex shirt. I like it, but let's see what else we have. This adorable Mickey Mouse sweatshirt comes in sizes extra small through extra, extra large. It's $39.99. This all over Mickey Mouse graphic has different colored Mickey Mouses all over it. It comes in sizes small through 3X. It is $34.99. Well, I found another favorite top and it's this all over running Mickey graphic shirt. It's in a woman's 3X and it fits great and it's really cute. Let's have a look. I feel like the length of this is perfect. It actually looks really, really great with these yellow jeans. And I have a pair of red jeans this would look great with too. The profile is nice. It's not binding anywhere. I'm getting the coverage I want. The sleeve length is a little shorter than I normally like, but I still feel very comfortable in it. And I know that if I put a colorful cardigan with this or a jacket, it's gonna pop and it's gonna look fantastic at work. Here's a couple of extra details about the shirt that I really like. It's um, got a sewn down cuff, which is super cute. And they actually sewed it down 
in a number of different spots throughout the sleeve so that it doesn't roll down and I really appreciate that extra detail. And here you can see classic Mickey running in his red shorts. He's got blue shorts, green shorts. It's so cute. Oh wow, I was ready to check out and I found the Star Wars section. Check out this shirt. It comes in sizes small through extra, extra large. And it's $34.99. I am the droid you were looking for for $24.99 in sizes small through extra, extra large. We also have I am the droid you were looking for CP3O for $24.99 in sizes small through extra, extra large. Oh guys, I thought I was done shopping until I found the Star Wars shirt. It's $34.99. It's got sparkles on it. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It comes in sizes extra small through 3X. I will try this on for you. Well guys, it looks like I am faced with a dilemma. Which shirt do I choose? Because I really like this Star Wars shirt too. Let's have a look at this women's 3X Star Wars leader shirt. Now, as you can see, it fits pretty good. It's got a nice length on it. It hits just right. The sleeves are pretty good. They're a little shorter than I normally like, but they're still comfortable and the graphic is glitter. And one of the things I'm noticing is because of the style of the graphic, when you're at a distance, it's really hard to see. You can't really see it until you're close up. Hmm. And this is the profile. I have lots of Disney shirts and I only have one Star Wars shirt, but I don't think I'm gonna get this Star Wars shirt simply because the graphic is really hard to see at, at even a short distance. I think I'm gonna be going with this Mickey Mouse shirt. It's super cute, I can wear it to work, I can wear it in casual circumstances, I can wear it, I'm gonna get more use out of it. And I know the Mickey Mouses are really small, but it does look like a colorful, cute pattern even at a distance. And the Star Wars shirt just looks like a plain white t-shirt at a distance. So yeah, I made my choice. Okay, before I head off to my next Disney adventure, let's do a quick review of my shopping experience here at World of Disney. I've heard a lot of complaints from different vloggers on different blogs and different Facebook groups that I belong to about the new design of World of Disney, but I have to say that I personally love it. It's very open. You can see from section to section. Each section is labeled very clearly what it is. You can find your ears, your hats, men's and women's clothes, kids stuff, Star Wars, everything's laid out beautifully. And the really cool thing is, is it seems like no matter where you stand in the store, you can see all the other sections. All of the display cases and racks are all like chest high on me. There isn't very much stuff that's up higher. So if you're with your kids, you're gonna very easily be able to spot them all around the store. So there's nothing really obscuring your view, which makes it, I feel like, um, safer and more convenient place to shop with your family. Some people complain that they really like the old World of Disney style because it had carpeting in there and each carpet in each section was different and it was like you were walking from room to room. Each room had its own theme. There were big three-dimensional decorations, things hanging from the ceiling, stuff was animated. Well, I found that very frustrating to shop like that because it was all very distracting and it made it hard for me to figure out where I was going and what I was looking at. And a lot of times people would just stop dead where they were to look at the decorations and I couldn't get around them to shop. With this new layout and this new design, the aisleways and walkways are nice and wide and there's plenty of room to maneuver in there, especially if you're in a wheelchair, ECV, or you have a mobility device. I also loved that they had so many dressing rooms. Now, I believe they only had one or two before, but now they have a whole bunch of them. They're all really generously sized and very well lit. The only negative I have for this new design of the store is it was very warm inside there. The employees were sweating, all the guests were sweating, we were all fanning ourselves with the pamphlets, and booklets, whatever we could find. So it was really warm, the dressing rooms were kind of warm, you probably saw that during the try-on section, I was glistening a little, but otherwise, it's fantastic and I love the new world of Disney. So overall, I definitely highly recommend that you visit Disney Springs and that you come to World of Disney. I think you'll really enjoy the newly renovated store. Thanks for joining me on another fabulous shopping trip. Remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.